This is going to be the most genuine video I have ever made. I just walked out of Deadpool Wolverine. Holy shit. That is my favorite movie of the goddamn year. I'm telling that's I I swear I'm not lying to you, I'm not telling a lie. That is the genuine honest truth. I my expectations were pretty low going in and like I walked uh, walking into that theater and when I walked out I was overwhelmed and overjoyed because it was so much fun. It was so much so much fucking fun. And this my expectations were well going in because they were making they were writing this during the writer's strike or that and uh I think it was probably around last year. That means that they were writing it uh, but um Oh, by the way, spoilers mean this entire fucking thing. Um, yeah, and I was not confident in their ability to pull it through. Plus, the first two Deadpool movies, while I do love them, they're pretty much like the same movie. Like, they, 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 each one, have you noticed this? Each one, like, the color grading gets lighter. The first one was dark. Like, uh, a bunch of dark colors and all that. And it was probably the grittiest out of the three movies. Then it's the second one. It's more. It's more fun. It's more light and playful, uh, and it gets a little bit lighter. It's not as dark as the first one, and this one is just like colors all over the place. So that's great. But um, yeah, yeah, I was very surprised and enjoyed it a whole lot, and it's because. It's the most, one of the most comic booky movies to ever come out, and that's pretty sad. When you when you take a look at the current state of the MCU, which has been in the shitter for a good while now, and like, yeah, with all with all that, so I don't know. It's insane to me that Deadpool is the most. The best MCU, MCU movie in a while, best MCU project, and it's a character that is entering the MCU for the first time. It's not that he doesn't already have a following, but still. Um, Deadpool and Wolverine. I. They weren't lying with that title, by the way. This was definitely Deadpool and Wolverine's movie. I thought it was just going to be like. Uh, Deadpool and then like Wolverine is is saying shut up and fuck you to Daredevil because he won't stop talking um, but um, they both have like a story and they both get like a resolution they have pretty complete fucking character arcs like genuinely pretty compelling like um I didn't I didn't know what they were going to do after the movie was over. I didn't know what they were going to do with Wolverine. I guess I didn't really think about that. At some point, I thought he was just going to die, but I really... And, and then when he starts walking away at the end, I thought, oh, he's just going to leave. But now they brought him... They're going to stay pals. And he's going to stay in that universe. That's awesome. Don't know how much of him we'll be seeing in the future. Because Hugh Jackman is probably, like, pushing 60 right now. I don't know. Um... But hey, you know we'd love we'd always love to have the MCU could could kind of need it. Um, let me see. Yeah, I mean, it was so just the the story and the 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 jokes and like the the costumes. So maybe it's we start on the costumes when when uh when Logan flipped his fucking mask over and just like no jokes were made. Pretty much, like they just let you sit in that moment. That was, oh my god, that was, I almost cheered. That was really, that was really cool. And like all the, all the past, this felt like a tribute to all the past Fox Marvel films. Because there's the Johnny Storm cameo, which was um, thought thought it was going to be Captain America. That was the joke. But uh, I don't. This was so much better because. Chris Evans is not going to play Human Torch again in another movie, I don't think. 
and uh, I don't know. I it feels weird to be mad that it's not Captain America because if they brought him back, um, they're bringing Robert Downey Jr. back now for for Doom, and there's no way there's not. It's reasonable to say that they might bring back uh, Chris Evans as Captain America in some way, or they want to do something with him in the future, and bringing him back in this movie say, in Johnny Storm's role and just, like, doing exactly what they did to him. I feel like that. I don't know. Uh, it'd just be weird. Kind of weird. Going forward. And I think they're going to do something probably more with uh, Wolverine in the future with how they ended the movie. But, um, there's that cameo and uh, Laura, X-23 from Logan. A, a grown-up version of her. Obviously not from that universe because that Wolverine's dead. But, um... She got. They all got their time. They all got their time to shine. Electra, Blade, Gambit was fucking. Channing Tatum was fucking hilarious. In the movie. I, I. I. absolutely just did not get the joke until after I read that there was supposed that there was a canceled Gambit movie with Channing Tatum at the helm. He really wanted to do that. Apparently, he was championing it so hard that he um lobbied to direct the movie himself to see if that's what we get it out of development hell that was also crazy but um just all the the cameos felt respectful and they actually felt meaningful because uh, uh, uh not what not like most of the time when there's when they they're bringing up uh i can't just cameos in the superhero in the movies especially now um they don't just walk across the screen or come in say something do like something at the end and then like we move on from them they stay in the movie they're like they actually do stuff and they're like characters it's like no way home when um tommy o'guire and andrew garfield show up at the end uh their whole part was great and they actually mattered in the end and x23 is now like there's a version ready to you know for us to Mar Marvel saying they're ready for us to do something with, which I hope they do. I want to see more of that. Um, they're doing whenever their X Men is coming out. Um, well, um, Dog Pool. It's great. Nice Pool, who was played by Gordon Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds' brother. Couldn't I didn't fucking realize that they they both can sound exactly the same, and I I I caught I caught I was looking for because it just said Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. It didn't say. They said Ryan Reynolds is Wade Wilson and Deadpool, not Nice Pool. And I was looking for it. I was like, what? Are they going to have him lower down, even though he was just played by Ryan Reynolds? It's like, I, ca I caught for a split second Nice Pool. All the way down here, Gordon Reynolds. It's fucking. That's genius. That's great. Actually. And, um. Fucking. Wolverine was great. The montage. Henry Cavill. Showing up to play one version of Wolverine. Uh, the whole bar scene. Where he first played. There's like lots of fun scenes. There's lots of scenes that I would really love to go back to. Especially the fight. The first fight with Deadpool and Wolverine. That shit was fucking awesome. That was, that was awesome. There's um, amazing action sequences in this fucking movie. It's so... God... I just want to gush about it. It was... It's literally my favorite movie of the year so far. And I've only I've only given it four four stars on Letterboxd. Um I've given more movies this year. Five. Four four and a half. But but by the way, go follow me on Letterboxd and subscribe to my fucking YouTube channel. Um but mm -hmm. Chris Andrew Nova. Holy shit, dude. I'll, there's not enough in her in the movie. Uh, something awakened in me watching that performance. Yeah, a couple of them. Um, Paradox is funny. Mm, the same with all the dead boys in him. I caught a few of them. 
Lady Pool is the most overt, but um, the zombie Deadpool with the little twirly thing and make him float. Just a head. It's pretty, that's a good reference. Um, it was Nathan Fillion, apparently, voiced that head. Which is cool, honestly. Excluding, I like that not all of them were, um, played by Ron Miles. In fact, only one of them was played by Ryan Reynolds. Because Nice Pool was Gordon Reynolds. Oh. This is sincere, like, 30-second scene twice of, um, dog pool running into his arms. Uh, all the time you're on the edge, you see the one around, oh, shit, are they, are they about to kill this dog? And no, they don't at all, ever. They make a point that, um, you should never. That's for that dog. Um, gosh. It was, just good, it was just a good experience that that movie was. Sweet Jesus. Okay. See you. Subscribe.